hello there, it is your non-local barista, and after watching Chainsaw Man's episode 4 of the anime, I was honestly surprised with one scene that to the average watcher might not look like much, but to me it was actually a little impressive. I'm talking about the morning sequence where Aki wakes up and begins his morning coffee routine, which was surprisingly detailed. So using my barista knowledge, I'm going to go ahead and break it down. I'll be showing what I'm talking about with images, cause I don't want to run the risk of getting a copyright claim. The first detail that's the smallest of them all is the sort of coffee slash tea set he has on his living room. Not really that important, but I thought it was still interesting to point out. Here we can see Aki is starting to boil water in a kettle. It's still nothing too major, but at the very least, we know that he hasn't upgraded to an electric kettle. Although I can't really blame him since electric coffee kettles are pretty expensive. Now about here is where I lost my mind a little. At first, when I watched this scene, I thought I saw a V60 coffee methead, but then I quickly spotted a Kalita brewer. Which, by the way, I've never seen a Kalita in any anime or manga ever. Well, at least that I can remember. He seems to be using the dripper model instead of the Wave 155 or the Wave 185, which are characterized for having a wave pattern across the dripper. He's also using a gooseneck kettle that, despite the fact that it's not electric, it's still much better than a common kettle. For the coffee he's using, I can't really tell anything. If I had to guess, I would say it's from a supermarket or something similar going solely from the packaging. Here we see another neat detail. He's grinding his own coffee beans, which is much better than using pre-grounded coffee beans as it retains much more properties and flavor in its bean form. The grinder he's using is a manual one, and by the looks of it, probably a cheap one, which makes me wonder if Aki doesn't earn much money from working in a devil hunting company. After the water boils, he throws the beans directly and begins pouring, which is not the best thing to do. Usually you want to throw some hot water into the filter before putting the coffee in, then you begin with a pre-infusion to then start pouring. Aki just skips these two steps and goes directly into pouring. He has a good technique at the very least. Now I don't know if this was intentional or not, but we see here that the drip dropping from the filter isn't exactly linear and uniform. It's fallen in batches and droplets, which is not ideal for the result of the pour. If it was intentional, then the two previous points I mentioned that Aki skipped would be the reason why it's falling like that. But I'm going to say that it was probably a coincidence. After this, we see the last part of the coffee segment, which ends with Aki taking a sip of the really hot coffee. Honestly, I have no clue how he didn't just burn his tongue right off, considering he literally just made that coffee seconds ago. But I guess he's just a little different. Honestly, I don't remember if this whole sequence was in the manga or if it was as detailed as here, but when I saw this, I was pretty happy. It's not often that I can see coffee things being portrayed this accurately and detailed in anime or entertainment. Did you like the video? I was considering covering more appearances of coffee in other anime or even video games, but we'll see, I guess.